Good evening, all. Welcome to FMA Discussion. This is episode 216, and tonight we are featuring Tuhan Mel Tortel. Uh, we are so glad to have him on. We've uh, <clears throat> we've been in contact with him, you know, over the last few months, and we finally made it happen. And much credit to uh, Guru Royce for really uh, being part of this and uh, kind of coordinating behind the scenes. So I want to thank both of you for uh, for coming on, and uh, thank you, Royce, for, again for uh, helping with coordinating this. Um, I'm glad I could help out. So, yeah, good evening, everyone. Yeah. Good afternoon, good morning. Then yeah, the time, right, right. Good, right. Morning over in the Philippines and yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> very late in Europe. And yeah, so. yeah. So, and I don't know what time, you know, the other parts of the world. So. Yeah, I know it's like, for instance, in London, it's. Um, it's they had an hour setback, so it's five. So it's mid uh, eleven in London and mid Europe twelve, and then it starts to yeah time to get of course to the Philippines and seven o'clock yeah so right exactly so uh, yeah but uh so folks if you're watching tell us where you're watching from smash that like button and we're just getting started so um you came just in time all right so I want uh, just uh. You know, obviously, your family is the history of this art. I mean, gosh, you know, when you hear the Tortel family, you know, you just it just resonates and automatically it's just association with PTK. And uh, so, with far as the lineage and all that, um, just so for the folks who are watching who might not know, um, you know, as far as the family history, what could you tell us in regards to PTK? All right, PTK, it's a. Uh, um um it's from our family lineage basically from generation to generation you know mm. coming from my great great grandfathers and uh so i learned directly to my uncle grand to mm. and his grandfather um uh conrado tortal oh, yeah. he learned directly to his father and his father learned directly to his father. Wow. So it's like passed on to generation to generation. And uh, and uh, I'm so I'm so happy that uh, I continue the path and continue and sharing this uh, technology and the system of PTK. And uh, I owe this for my great grandfather and 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 I owe this also to my uncle Grand Tuhan that mm. you know I have a chance to train with him during the early days and so that's why I whatever I have I continue it share to the students and the instructors all over the world and I continue it traveling so um um, I'm so happy that I have a chance and when I was a kid training with him um, and day and night so mm. I don't have like base I don't have really a, 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 a teenager uh, life that you know hang out with friends mm -hmm. uh, basically like you know, um, I was uh, at that time. I was in a teenager. You know, train, train school, home, train school, home. Right. No, you were. Right, I got you. Yeah, you were. You were on a mission. Um, when you, oh, yeah, <laughs> when you alluded to like the generation going all the way back. So we're talking about the Visayan region. If I'm, am I correct in that? Yes, Visayas region, and and. Uh, Basically, I pretty much live in um, Negros, which the Negros. Okay. island which is located in the central Philippines. Okay, so, okay. And, uh, but our great, our great, great, you know, uh, uh, grandfathers from the Panay in um, um, Tigbawan, Panay, which is part of. Panay Island, and during the early days, they moved to Negros, which is yeah, an, okay. Okay. it's another island in the central Philippines, still part of Visayas, in between Cebu and okay. Panay, basically. 
and then that the family settled there and before the war and that's how we started and 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 uh, and uh, spread the art and the the family start teaching to the inside the family just to protect the land and to protect our clan during wow, the well, that's interesting okay so it was about there for i mean obviously for protection of the immediate area and as you mentioned your family so when you um with respects to the generation and all that um you know what was told to you or share with you and all that is um basically heavily blade influence of course um but when i look at ptk i i see you know again um you know, just from observation outside looking in, I see like one of those better systems that really um, equally kind of shares a blunt translation and an edge, we edge weapon translation and all that. Right. Where if you look at some of our systems, they're kind of heavily blunt or like illustration mode, for instance, you know, heavily edged. I mean, you know, and all that. Um, and my question to you is with that observation, um, why why is it i think it's a good thing don't get me wrong but i'm just curious as to why yeah um so uh basically the system it's more on edge weapon oriented okay so this is an edge weapon oriented art however if you start involving yourself especially your beginners in the system we don't allow you to use the blade immediately. Mm. And uh, um, because it's like, it requires precession, it requires mobility, it requires a better body mechanics and, 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 and better footwork before you hold the blade that to make sure you will not get cut or you get, you will not, you, the way you deliver your strikes, it must be precise. So all lots of uh, of the Filipino martial arts styles and the other system in the Philippines. Originally, it's it's a blade art. So, but because of now um, there's so many people involved, the training, especially the uh, the children, this mm. little the early age, we do not allow them to like immediately hold the blade because it's like as the uh, uh, as the uh, uh, early age you have to start like you know uh, footwork and and impact weapon which is the, uh, the the regular sticks and that to make sure the um uh, they understand the mechanics and 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 the discipline first. Mm. Prior, when they grew up, and w once they understand about edge weapon, that's how it start. Then they, that's gradually introduced. Okay, okay. So basically, it's we layer the the learning. So there's a, a, the the learning. It should be the process. We like you are here in the fundamental immediately like you jump there in advance. It should be progressive, in other words. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Great, great. So you started, I was going through your uh, website, and if I recall correctly, I mentioned you started around 11 years old. I was, yeah, um, I, I started very early, uh, 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 younger age and and i'm so happy that you know i have an opportunity for that mm. during the time when my uncle grand Han, he lived here in the u.s but the time he's traveled back and forth he's traveled. going back and forth from new york to yeah, yeah, so yeah. i have an opportunity to to train formally with him and you know on um the time i was in elementary grade so um then when I was um, I was 14 years old, after that, after I graduated into elementary grade. So I now I immediately like 
stay with him. And, mm. and when he decided to um, live there for a long time back in the Philippines, in, in, uh, in Visayas, which is in the Negros Occidental, that in Bacolod. So I stay with him and I have a chance to train him all the time and, and hang out with him and, you know, and wherever he travel around the area. So I'm the one like carry his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You're the, okay. You're the, you're carrying the golf bag. And yeah. <laughs> I, I was, yeah. I was a teacher during the early days too. And, and, yeah. and, and yeah, I'm, I'm, it, it was great experience. And I can only imagine. I mean, so, uh, yeah. that, that, uh, uh, my training that from the past, I, I, I still like, you know, embrace it and, and continue it. That's why mm -hmm. I'm, I, all my old notes that, you know, whatever materials that I train with him and I, I keep it because, yeah, yeah. and, you know, and until now, whatever materials that I, that I learned, from Grand Tuhon, so I continue to share it to the students and to the instructors all over the world. Where yeah, that must be, wow. Those are archives it. now. Those are, <laughs> those are, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, we got some people here just to quick, say a quick, oh, we got Eric O'Brien from Florida. Oh, we got Guru Louie from Canada. Brian Rodriguez, hey. We got Tuan Jack, we got Dennis, all right, and we have a nice note there from Royce. All right. Yes, folks, if you're tuning in, tell us where you're watching from and all that. So what was the training like? So you're 11 years old. I mean, like, what did, what did it consist of? Like, what, what was he having you do primarily? What's that? I'm sorry? So when you started at 11 years old, what was the training like? What was he having you do, like, from, uh, the, from the beginning? We start training... Footwork, lots of lots of lots of footwork. I keep hearing I, that, like footwork, footwork yeah. lots of footwork, body mechanics. Sometimes it's like uh, I had a chance that okay, he he put a uh, coconut shell on the ground, like the tree, the triangle on the, the coconut shell. Oh, he 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 did tell. He also had Talamba. <laughs> yeah, and then. You know, I do my footwork there. I did my footwork there on the top of the coconut shell. And he said, like, you're see to it that you do not fail on the on the ground. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to beat you. And, like, it's so many times that I fell on the ground. And, oh, no. You know, so he hit me a lot. So, like, it's a painful. Painful experience? A, you know. <laughs> oh, the, my God. Uh, uh, the, the thinner the thinner uh stick is the thinner uh rattan stick yeah it's more painful than than the big one <laughs> uh, okay yeah i had lots of process during the time <laughs> mm. yeah it, it was like uh for me it's very challenging and because of my uh uh, my path and my goal is to continue this journey and 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 continue the art and continue sharing to the people and that's why I, I even it it's painful and and you experience a lot of hurt so I'm I, I can take it so you can take it whether, <laughs> you, like, whether you like it or not <laughs> yeah so. Exactly. So heavy dose of footwork. Once he felt, um, I guess that you were getting a good grasp for it. What, what did he, did he uh, introduce next? As far as your training, um, body mechanics, footwork, body mechanics, and we did a lot of double sticks. Oh, uh, oh, double stick. Okay, okay. Double double weapon. So uh, um, uh, from the uh, in the beginning, we don't train blade no oh, okay. We, okay. we train double baston immediately double sticks double, so stick. okay. double, double uh, uh double sticks we had like sinawali pattern mm. different, different types of sinawali pattern cab cab strikes okay. pio, pio, and so I do a lot of trusting we go to the we go to Rada and stuff like that 
like Ichiketi, Sunkiti, do such kind of, you know, of a uh, of, uh, combination of the strikes. Then later, we had Spade Daga and Malayu Sibat, you know, and, and yeah, so we jumped into different uh, um, uh, 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 category, mm. different weapon category, Sibat Idaga, you know, and, and, and those kind of, 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 uh, of uh, categories that we, we, we covered. And, and uh, yeah, we do lots of Dumog, Pangamot on the ground, do knife topping from the in the beginning. Oh, so you were you were getting. I mean, so by by teenager, you were getting the whole gamut. Okay, okay. So um, yeah, mostly like learning the platform, mm. platform subsystem. You know, understand the elements and how to connect, how to bridge. So because the time, you know, his his V was very strict. And he will like put you in a hard time during the the the, the, the training. So what they did wasn't easy. <laughs> no, just kidding. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's like one on one training, and yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, after the training, that's the time I, you know, I, I oh, you took time to write notes and what have you to make sure I'm, you know, all the information that I've gotten. So I haven't forget it. So that's that's why I have still notes on it. And then, well, lots of materials and huge system. So mm -hmm. to uh, take down notes and and you know that to make sure I'm not gonna forget it. So right, right, right. Also, we have to continue and 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 whatever I learned from him. So the material that I had. So I continue to share it to, to, uh, uh, to the students and to, uh, to the instructors. Wow. So what, I mean, so what, you know, I guess, you know, you're young, of course, but like what really stood out about him as far as a teacher, like for you to, you know, for, to, for you to con continue, I mean, obviously you liked it. You uh, know, something in him, right? BP, he's very strict teacher. Hmm. Very strict, very serious. In other words, very mean. If you oh. like, under like training uh, strictly, wow, but really? after the training, he's a very sweet guy. He's a very sweet guy, funny and loving, and you know we hang out. You know we go here and there. You know and but once. We train immediately. The mindset it switch. Oh, you can, okay. okay. So it's it, it it's like it's it's become a different person. Wow. So training is a training, and and after the training, and then we hang out. Then it's like joking around, teasing around, and hang out in a coffee shop and. And things like that, and 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 sharing the story, and then after that, you know, and once the training, in, like the following day again, so boom, it it's like very strict. In other words, so there's a chance that I kind of I couldn't even walk, you know, because it's like lots of footwork. Imagine like you do footwork for two hours, yeah. lots lots of footwork, you know. And ducking, walking, duck walk, and 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 jumping, do lots of mobility and such. So, no, no, and at that young age, I mean, that's not. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. Uh, they certainly, not every kids doing that, you know. I mean, and it was like a chance that, you know, I I had a good remembrance from him that, you know, um, I was that was like I think I was. 16 years old at the time mm. and I was at I was a teenager and uh, we did knife tapping and he took his bayonet you know bayonet is quite long right so it's not like ordinary it's not like a regular knife like a regular knife it's like the length is average yeah okay uh, uh, um, the bayonet it's like quite long and we did like knife tapping 
I think he's, he was upset on me because of, you know, I, I, I was tired and I was slowed down because it's like we did lots of tapping, but that was live knife. And I said, you know, to do, do, do slowly because like I complained because I was, I was really tired at the time. Oh, okay, okay. Stop complaining, you know, just like he feed me like knife tapping. I think he was tired and, and get upset and he stopped me in, in right here. Um, right into, I can show you by the way. Oh. Uh, stopped me in, in my elbow. I got like 12 stitches. So, um, bro, I got 12 stitches and, and, and I run into the emergency hospital and here, right here. See that? Oh yeah, I see the outline. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, and and I see the. So I stopped for a while, and because like the the, the blood was dripping, and it's, I feel like you know it, the the, the bayonet is stuck there. And I said, "Oh, uh, what happened?" I look at it, and the blood is dripping. You know, it's dropping down on the ground, and they said like. Wash yourself. I'm like, I was like surprised because like, I I don't have like a tourniquet. So what I did because we were in outside the hotel. So the hotel that was in Convention Plaza Hotel. Outside, there's a park. There was a park there. So I went to the hotel and run there. So I, I, I haven't seen any. So I grabbed the... Um, uh, uh, the table, the the tablecloth, some, okay. and I put, I, I I use that as a tourniquet. So I put a tourniquet in there, and then I run, and I I took taxi and went to the emergency room or hospital, and the doctor asked me what happened. I said, well, um, accidentally I fail, so there is a a uh, stake or something in the ground, and I. That hits my arms. Okay. okay. I, I can't see that. That you know. Yeah, you can't say your uncle uh, just puts okay. a metal in you. <laughs> no. yeah. yeah. Well, every time, like you know, I have seen this uh, scar, so I'm like, you know, I remember him and all my all my scars here. Is, you know, he delivered. We did like you know, live blade, uh, uh, genunting flow. You know, he. he because I get close, I I, 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 I I got close to him that way in my mind, uh, that's the only way to, to take a rest. So because I, I was really tired because like, I got you. Okay. I'm going to train okay. you like seven, eight, seven, eight hours a day and like crazy. And and he was upset at the time, and then he did a little bit of again, and he hit, and he hit my uh, uh, my forehead. And then again, blood is coming in, and then and he said, "Okay, I have hemag for you." And then they like oil, a hemag, uh, hemag. It's coming from the trees, okay. the, the vine, aspect the vine in, in in the in 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 that is only that you can find it in. Uh, Oh, so a natural kind of blood. Yeah. So uh, basically, that that kind of uh, 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 tree has a uh, that juice. You have to boil it and put the coconut, co the, the put the coconut in there. Uh, um, so it produces oil. Okay. So that oil, it's it's very effective for if you get cut or bruises or something. You you apply it and it. Close the wound quickly. Oh, that's fascinating! Oh, wow. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so he he has that all the time, and he and he put forehead. <laughs> he keeps a steady supply of that. For yeah. Him. They said, okay, get ready again and train again. <laughs> so now, did you? I mean, you're in your teens. I mean, so I mean, at the time, so kind of two parts. This at the time. I'm sure you're probably surprised, bewildered, like, why is this happening? But when you look back at it now, is there appreciation for what he oh, instilled? It's, yeah, I would say I really appreciate it. And But if if you ask me, 
to train again to to go back my experience i said no <laughs> no you're, there's a big no no capital yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> i mean like at the time yeah. i was a teenager and and i and and I have a strong endurance and and i have like yeah yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can I, I can train like you know 10 oh my gosh eight hours a day so it's i no been, that's i mean yeah, Apollo just says <laughs> there should be a support group for all the students that GT has abused over the years. <laughs> all right, we're going to create a support group on uh, Facebook here. We're going to put an FMA discussion. If you have experienced trauma, please come here and we can help you. <laughs> <laughs> you can share us your trauma and we will have a somebody on site to uh, uh, <laughs> so far it's you know that was my experience and you know it's a like it's a, pain, a very uh, painful experience and yeah. at the training it's kind of more rigid but that was my experience and you know, it's, it's like, I appreciate that yeah but you know it's like you got classical systems and then you have classical way of being taught you know what I mean? And that is gone today. Like, for instance, there's one person I know who's still, and there could be others. I, I you know, don't, I don't want to get this misconstrued. Right. You know, but there's one person I know, like, with, you know, that, but your hands are going to get hit. You're going to be in pain. And it's part of the syllabus. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, it's a guy who I, I don't, you know, I don't have permission to say his name. So I have respect. I'm not going to, but, uh, it, and it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. But when you look back, when I look back, I'm like, I see the benefits because, um, well, I did initially, but, <laughs> you know, over time, um, you know, I, I started to see them because the consequence, the, you know, pain, distraction, the consequence, you know. Yeah, it's it's part of experience, you know, it's, it's experience. And, and if you are in a martial arts, especially you involve your training, you, yourself in training. You get hurt anyway. So yeah, the there's always that potential. Sure, right, right. Depending on uh, what you're doing and how much you're doing it, and that. Yeah, so it's like, I think it's uh, 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 being that uh, being involvement of, of of my of my um, um, my training mm. by involved in the training and serious training and and like even uh even some of friends in in fma experience some you know uh uh injury and and bruises and things like that so which is i think it's normal people like yeah be part for the course <laughs> uh this look dislocated the shoulders dislocated the knee and things like that mm -hmm. i think but it's a normal that for those people that involved in martial arts yeah right no no right look at grapplers mma guys yeah i mean exactly right i mean there's you know, they're getting injured, sure. Um, so you can, okay, so you're in your teens, you're, you continue with this and all that. Um, I mean, so this, you continued to obviously, I mean, your 20s, so forth and so on. Were you, were you going on with him as far as helping him at the seminars and what have you? Yeah. So during, during the time, so um, I, I help him and, and wherever he go, um, but when he was in the States, um, I was there in the Philippines because, you know, I was in, in, I was in a school, right? So, and, and he traveled back and forth. I kind of come, I can't, I can't uh, 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 um, um, help him if he fly here in the U.S. because it's like, you know, I was in a school there. And, but every time that he... Uh, um back in the philippines he visit back in the philippines so i'm there supporting him mm. he run the training to the uh um uh, a private group or or some other people for uh teaching the law enforcement so i i was there and and and, and support him so uh, yeah. i was the one like carry all his stuff and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what and what at what age did you did he obviously I mean he gave you rank. At what age did you get your your first rank? What was his ranking structure? I got promoted. I got promoted as a rank of two on after twenty five years of training. Which I hear it's a twenty year mark. I hear is I uh, after yeah. twenty 
five years, that's how I get my rank of, of training. Mm-hmm. So I got my mandala uh, uh, rank after 18 years. 18? 18 years, yeah. And then so, did he ever give you anything uh, before that? Yeah, before he gave me a guru rank after 20, uh, 10 years, something like that. So, mm-hmm. and yeah, I got my, and he got, and, and he promoted me of uh, this rank of two on after uh, after 25 years of training so which is like you know i mean it was a good experience and and whatever experience i had and and you know i can share it to uh to the students and and uh mm. partners, so which is i think it's enough information and and uh and uh, i would say I will continue doing this with the rest of my life. So and support the people have a good heart and and uh, the most important it's like just focus of of the goal. Mm. Art. So so you got yeah ten years you you get your guru. Did you start teaching in your early twenties? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, early twenties. I mean like. I formed the during the time I, we, we uh, uh, I was with t- together with my 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 uh, my childhood friend uh, Tuho Nonoy. Tuho Nonoy and I a very very good friend. He was my best friend. Uh, his his name is Baldwin Grocho. He's a, he's a Tuho also. So mm. the. And uh, yeah, he was my sparring partner, and and Tuhon Tim Wade, he was my sparring partner during. Okay, the- okay, yeah, yeah. And he lived in Bacolod in the Philippines, and that time I was like 14, 14 years old, sixteen years old, and things like that. So, yeah, and when, um, so at the age of nineteen, I was twenty years old, eight, nineteen, twenty, something like that, and and. Uh, uh gt encouraged us to say okay you have to form your club oh yeah they, okay all right form your club you have to form your group so uh myself Tuhunonoy, and sami ivy and and uh manong john maranyon grandmaster manong john maranyon four of us we formed the club is what we call dog eaters at the time <laughs> it's funny right <laughs> so the just like just to uh, uh, the name of the uh, the name of the group during, okay. during the time, and we continue promote the, the PTK, you know, in a different different uh, sectors of, of the of the uh, uh, government and the department, uh, law enforcement, and. And the local uh, law enforcement and the uh, barangay areas. So then, after five years, I think I was twenty-two or twenty-three, something like that, or twenty-four. I can't remember. And then I moved to Manila. So then I continue teaching there. So. And it's the place a group over there in Manila. So the the name of the group, the time it's Manila Pitbull. So, Manila Pitbull. Manila okay. Pitbull. <laughs> so GT said, okay, you have to uh, name your group is Manila Pitbull. So all the group of of of, uh, of uh, during I think that that was like two thousand, if I'm not mistaken, that was two thousand, two thousand two, two thousand three, something like that, and. That's my group in Manila, this Manila Pitbull. So my first senior student is Tuhon Miki Alcaraz. He was my student. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Buddy Asenas, um, DJ, and J. Kuna. So those are my four. And, and, and Tuhon Jasper. It is my senior senior uh, 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 students at that time. And then later, after four or five years, so uh, Tuhon Kit Asenas be, 
become my, my became my student. So because uh, um, um, Buddy Asenas and Kit, they were brother. So he invited Kit to be part of the club and mm. also continue um, teaching the group and the civilian and also like the law enforcement and the military and uh, uh, developing the program there. And I helped the uh, the armed forces of the philippines to to develop their program and and helping them for uh the edge weapon uh training right 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 okay so, yeah, i remember ron always talking about ron, that. yeah the, that's the, the uh, the, by 2002 or 2003 something it was like definitely that. 202 203 i remember him yeah, uh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh roy's uh teacher <laughs> And Ton Apollo and, and Ron, they came in the Philippines, and that's how I met them. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. That's how I met them and, and, and you know, and, and train with them and things like that. So, and so everybody, like, enjoyed the training, hang out, and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so when you, so when you, okay, so first, when you're teaching back then, you know, again, you mentioned like early 20s. This is pre, uh, if I'm not mistaken, kind of pre tri V, where you're doing like the 12 methods, the 64 ways of attacks, kind of along though, contras, re contras, all along it's, those lines. Okay. It's a very good question. Thank you. And uh, let me um, explain real quick about the. Oh, yeah, no, please do. Yeah. The system. PTK is the system. System because it's massive uh, art, complete art. Mm -hmm. uh, under the system, there is a subsystem. Dusi Methodos is one of them. It's a subsystem. 64 Attack is one of them. Uh, the gasotertia is one of them, and so on and so forth. So many subsystems under. Inside subsystem is what we call platform. Those platform that's inside the subsystem, there is a several sets in there. Inside the sets, there is an element. So, Dosi Methodos and Tri V, it's part of the PTK. Mm. However, Tri V is the operating system, it's not a subsystem, it's operating system, like a brain of the art. I just, got it. Okay, okay. Like a computer. Okay. Yeah. Just like a computer. Yeah, like the operating system. Gotcha. TPU okay. TP is the memory. The central of, of the, 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 how the, the computer operate of CPU, mm. the brain of the computer. So same thing in the PTK. PTK is a system. It's a complete art that composed of a several uh, uh, um, a subsystem, platform okay. and elements. Within the, within the oh. subsystems. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, try the, I would say, is operating system. Let me explain real quick about the try the. Try stands for third, which is the triangle. The triangle stands for the three apex. Third, which is the strategy and tactics coming from that we use in the system is the triangle. Okay. Stands for third. Stands for try. V is the formation that you use that to bisecting the line. And once you bisect the line, you can see the V formation the B formation, you can use that as your entry. So the bridge. Uh... So meaning 
try be you use that as your formula okay for you to bridge the different all different parts of the elements and different subsystem wow. that you can operate that you can use that that's what we call bridging this is excellent and paul just said it like i've asked many people this um, just to get better clarification, I better understand for myself. And uh, this is one of the best I've heard as far as you, ex the way you're explaining it, as far as the subsets, the platforms in the subsets, and then the operating system. So kudos to you. Yeah, and Paulo, uh, yeah, uh, agreed. Um, wow, fascinating. So, okay, so the bridge, the tri -B, okay. So, meaning the PTK, it's a composed of... Uh, of the subsystem, right? Okay, and 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 sixty-four attack. You need to. It's very important because it's like you have to learn your form that to make sure the angulation of the delivery of your strike it must be clean and precise. Mm. So those methods you must understand the method of the platform inside, which is basically. Part of that, it's coming from 64 attack. The only difference, it's breaking down into the platform. Okay. Okay. So the platform, it's the materials that you use that. Inside the platform, it's composed of the different elements. Okay. All the different striking. So, meaning, this is your platform and this is your another platform, and this is your another platform. Inside the platform, there is com com composed of the different elements, right? So you start to bridge, put mm. it together, and what we call this, you have to connect the dots. Okay. So the tribe, it will support, since that is operating system, the moment I will contact it, either weapon or empty hands or knife or whatever, the moment I made a contact, I can see the opening in there, which is my V formation. Got it. Got it. Okay. So the tri V, the, 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 the third, the third is a formula that I can use that is triangulation as far as the system is concerned. Okay. Okay. So because you talk about PTK, we learn and study the, the principle of science. So all the strike is based on geometrical equation. Why? You talk about geometry, you talk about angulation, right? Mm. Different types of angle, isosceles angle, right angle, different types of angle, but all different types of angle. But when you strike, different pattern of the strike. So what you see? Triangle. Got it. And so when you deliver the strike and the different angle of the strike, the moment you that your strike landed and you tell your uh, 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 the impact and, and if, if you connect it and you, the moment you tell it, it changed the angle. Mm -hmm. The moment it changed the angle, you can see the different option in there. So if you have, if you, if, if you have a, understand a different uh, platform or, or different types of, of, uh, of subsystem, you can use that as your uh, uh, to, as to reinforce whatever you learn different platform, you can start to bridge and connect it. To connect the dots, back to connecting the dots. Yes. Yeah, okay. So meaning if you, if the more you know, the more you know the platform, the more you know the subsystem, which is like under the subsystem, there are multi multiple platforms in there. Mm. Or you know, the more you put many stuff inside. Okay. So just like for example, I, I'll give you the best example then. Uh, the chef. The chef, I'll, they have different uh, ingredients when they cook, right? Mm -hmm. So if you understand the process of cooking, even you have like five, six ingredients, you can cook different menu. No. But if you know, if you don't know how to cook, you yeah. can cook only one menu. Yeah. 
because you don't know the formula. Got so it. the formula, right. it, 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 it's not, it, that's the one that bringing the system and keep the system function and operate effectively. Uh, wow. That was that was really well explained. Wow. I appreciate that. I, I got a better understanding, you know, I mean, and all that. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then when you teach, it sounds like just based on your explanation, you're you're they're getting it all you know, through the operating system. Then the components and within the components, the platforms. Right. Okay. Exactly. And. And the good thing, if you understand the several platform, you can make different modules on it out of there. You can extract. Got it. Okay. And you can use that, for example, for law enforcement. You can extract what you need. What it's they need. Ah. What you need is in there. Okay. Mm. Military. Okay. I can extract what I need. Okay. Uh, uh, this is for the public consumption, for example. Okay. I can teach this for the public. Oh, I can teach for the children. Mm. So track those elements inside that necessary, that design, that suited for that particular audience if, uh, that that you are that you are going to teach. Uh, no, I got it. like for instance, right for military, right here. I got it. Yeah, for example, for for law enforcement. Well, we follow the three. The, the three principles, the three philosophy. If you teach law enforcement, wherever you, where you, wherever you are in this world, law enforcement, in short, to enforce the law. Mm. So we follow the three philosophy: to save the assailant's life, to save the officer's life, to save the department from legal liabilities. Yeah, right. We're getting so sued. Yeah. when you apply the technique to the uh, uh, to the assailant of course you cannot be able to hit the head you cannot be able to hurt, to 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 choke the uh, uh, the subject or to strangulate the subject or to break his bone you cannot do that mm. because that is liability yeah everybody videoing today right yeah. so <laughs> that's why our program once you have once you have, when you teach the law enforcement, you have the three philosophy, the one that I had mentioned. Right. So in your basis, then you can extract is what we call safety and control tactics. Mm. Safety to the law police officer and safety to the assailant and safety to the department. So right, everything right. it's like legal. So there is no liability because safety for the police officer safety to the uh, assailant and safety to the department that's why we yeah. have what we call safety and control tactics you got it right and obviously for so, the military for the military totally different. different thing it's more yeah, yeah. then it's combative right then that's how you slit the throat this you remove the head you know mm. that's that's different yeah then correct you come right. up with the uh uh the, the military program things mm. like that so that if you understand that there's several uh, 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 different platform and and the different subsystem, you can extract. It's easy for you to extract, and you can mm. get, you can put it in the curriculum quickly as possible, because it's like what you're gonna do is like okay, I can ext I can get this, I can get this, I need this, I need that, and put it in curriculum because you have a you understand already what it's needed and what mm -hmm. not needed. Yeah, no, no, no. It's fascinating, fascinating. Yeah, it's like, you, you know, it's like you got, you know, like files. Okay, I need this file. I need this file. Yes. Oh, need this file. Need this file for military. Yeah, you know. <laughs> exactly. So, so it means it's like, okay, you cannot be able to teach, for example, your your audience, your students, is uh, uh, the kids. Mm. You cannot, I mean, you cannot teach combative because it's like, yeah, 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 that's different, right? So you have to teach. You have to remove the the the. Mm. You have to start a fundamental, okay? Mm. Or teach them like angulation, a pattern of a strike. You teach them how to function, how to operate. You teach them like pangamot, 
empty hands and such. That's all. Mm. That's, you and you put them. You 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 encourage them to continue and give them a support and such and things like that. So once they grow, then you have to elevate your you level up your lesson as well. Yeah. It will develop and 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 you feed them slowly and slowly until they understand what is edge weapon and understand mm. that. Yeah, no, it makes complete sense. Uh, again, that was well articulated. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> was, well, well, Royce, I can, I can see why he's your teacher. <laughs> uh, so. What do you, I mean, okay, so far as, as you would teach or two on, what do you try and instill in your students and instructors as far as like their journey? Like, you know, I mean, what do you, what do you try and impart in them? Uh, okay, so for my students and representative all over the world, mm -hmm. I sacrifice my time. So whatever they need, I support them. Mm. regardless the money no no money involved so for me it's like even i woke up like five o'clock four o'clock in the morning even you ask royce <laughs> like yeah I, I i even i'm so tired i just support even we are now in the in the state of pandemic or or it, because of the covid issue i reach out to them like mm. support them Say them like, hey, how you doing, guys? Okay, so motivate them. Because that's that's what they need. It's not only like you give them a technique, you give them a training, but they need motivation as well. Mm, especially during these times, huh? Jeez. So, like, I mean, I respect my student. You respect, you get respect. Mm. So, um, even like, Early in the morning, I woke up and just like, because it's like in Europe and other parts of uh, uh, some, some other countries, it's like in the afternoon or, or, or midday here in the U.S. If I'm in the, in the Philippines, it's like I, I push myself mm. just to reach out the student and representative, give them materials, help them, and continue support. And whatever, and I ask all the time, oh, you guys okay? Any question you have, any the material that I share with you? If you have some question, please feel comfortable. Don't hesitate to ask question. Send me a message anytime or just give me a text. I'll give you a call. Sure, okay, okay. So just give them a support. Just, that's the only way that you, to promote the art. It's not only like, um giving them a material but uh address whatever uh um question they have okay. so that's what i do and, and 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 give them like um assignment and give them a homework what to do and ask them okay so this is like okay uh, how about the the can you send me a video? And if you're working with this platform, are you working with this like uh, uh, Santikan or you're working with this Sparidaga uh, Sigidas or you're working with this like 60 Portak? So can you, sh can you send me a video and I want to check? Mm. I see it that it's kind of off and they're not really well so I, I give them a feedback immediately like okay so you have to improve your strike your your footwork is wrong you have to you have to use your angulation you have to twist your body and such so those kind of you know I give them a critics and and even I'm I'm in in one place I still communicating with them and giving support constantly. Right. Wow. Well wow, that's quite no I mean obviously you're incredibly selfless to your students that's great wow yeah so the um, most like that's the only way that the student will continue the training and 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 uh giving them a uh guidance and care mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so, no, and I'm sure they see that in you, uh, obviously. You know what I mean? You know, that you generally care about them and their well-being and their growth and what have you, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, some students sometimes it's like they're hesitant to ask questions because it's like, uh, well, I think because of their experience from the other instructors. I mean, the other instructors, like, if you ask question, they take it personally that they say, oh, are you challenging me or mm. <laughs> because you ask question? I know. Huh? No, so I think it's 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 the it's very important that the student like they feel comfortable. Because you ask, right? right feel comfortable. Improve, yeah. You're very open and 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 ask them like, hey, guys, you need whatever <laughs> question you have. Feel free and and feel comfortable to ask question, and then I will support you and I give you feedback. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I mean, exactly. I mean, that's that's improving upon the whole for everybody. You know? oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, wow. You know, I want to touch upon something, something I really enjoyed about your website. And, you know, some others may do this, but, I, uh, but to be honest, I don't recall others that have done this and I've done a lot of interviews and checked out a lot of websites. So, but I could be wrong. Um, but you, I found, I, I gotta be honest, I, I just found this exceptional on your part. Um, you have a mission statement and a code of ethics. Yeah. And so the, I think that's incredible. Um, can you tell me what was the, the rationale and the inspiration for you to do that? And what, and the second part of the question is um, the benefits to your students. Right. So uh, I follow, I'm a very traditional person, traditional, like in a way that I want to follow the what the practice during the early days mm. so the principle the philosophy because it's like you talk about fma filipino martial arts you have to dive into the roots you if you want to put effort and and your goal, it must, and you and continue your 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 path, and 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 to get a better uh, 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 your student get better. Mm. Not only the material that you that you share it to them, but they understand that here's the disciplinary. It's not about the bylaws. The bylaws is like do's and don'ts right so it's, mm. it's just like a rules but um if the reason why i choose to put a a a uh, um good of ethics because it direct directly to the behavior and character to the of a person of I, think it's, I think it's fantastic i think it's yeah it's like if you don't respect the other student, if you don't respect your instructor, mm. there is no reason for you to stay in this organization. Right, I'm, I'm with you. If you can't, right? If you can't, if you can't present respectful behavior, I don't want you under me. <laughs> if you are like talking shit to mm. your fellow uh, practitioners, and you are passive aggressive attitude. What do you mean? You, you mean that's an FMA? What do you I, mean, Tuhan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. If you are a passive aggressive attitude, so there is no place for you yet to be part of this organization because it's like Good for you. you have to be transparent, talk straight. Yeah. If, if even negative or positive, let's discuss it. It's not about like, okay, mm. I'm good, <laughs> but yeah. but behind you're not okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. If we can just get rid of that, I know. Yeah, I so think. it's it's like I want I want to instill the stud in and when I want to instill it that 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 uh, this kind of code of ethics that people understand, respect, concern, and care. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you see it in Royce. I mean, his. Every time I see him interact with people, it's always on the uppermost, respectful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you in the background. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so obviously what you're instilling in your instructors, for example, using Royce, I mean, I, I see it the way he conducts himself on forms. Yeah, Royce is like awesome guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, you can't have people like him, like full gins and hooligans, man. And you very, know, I mean, uh, lips, I'd know? say, a strong leader, and you know, and he motivates. Yeah, yeah. Student. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Royce, you're, Royce, you're supposed to do that after the show. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it away. <laughs> oh, that that was funny. Um. So your students now. So the students, I think it's, I think it's fantastic that, that you know it's one of the first things I saw on your website. It just really resonated with me. I'm like, you're actually instilling something for so you don't even have to so you don't have to put out fires. I, I just think that's you know like you're being proactive. I, I just think that's great. Your students um, get good feedback from them on it. No. I don't know. You, you know, I think in Tuan's case, a, a lot of <laughs> Go ahead. I think a lot of people that money thing. <laughs> do really care because like when I uh, when I was talking when we talked about last time how I kind of came into um, the fold of the PTKWF under mm -hmm. it, it's a lot of people had a lot of concern. <laughs> Eric um, had a lot of concern about, um, rep, you know, representing PTKWF representing Tuan Mao, yeah. so on and so forth, and I, I totally get it. I totally understand it. And I and I saw that a lot of people. He has some great people. I've had an opportunity to meet at some of the travel camps as well. Uh, reconnect online because you know pandemic, mm. and some of these people have been amazing people. Great people to talk to while out there, and uh, I think that that's. A strong sign of respect you know people can respect him and want to be a part of that you know and i i get it you know it's it's really awesome you know you got people like you know fabrice moraine from france and you know um damir and you know robert and kate and so many people from all of you over europe and of course the philippines and you know Oh, Malaysia, um, Brazil, you know, Argentina, Croatia. Yeah. It's crazy. I think it's, I think it's just great to have. I think it's just it, you're instilling accountability. Like people, your reps just can't go out there and just say whatever, do whatever. You know, like the people I'm under, like Tom Sotis and Mark Burton, like I can't get away with that. I'm t you know, if I did something like blasting on somebody on social media, Facebook, you know, for example, I can guarantee you I'd be getting a message in my, you know, my inbox, you know, like it's just, I think there's account. I think it just establishes accountability. I mean, like who wants reps that are just going out there and just like bad mouthing people and starting drama and oh. yeah, that looks really good for the organization. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I stay away from that. If, if I feel yeah. kind of tension, I'm like, Oh uh, no, I, I, whatever I can see something negative, I just step back and yeah, I don't I ignore, it. I just, I ignore it. Yeah, I know. I know. I try to as much as I can, but when you're, when you run a group, man, sometimes you got to get your hands in there. <laughs> Remember then, if you wrestle the pig, you get dirt. Ah, I like that analogy. Yeah. So much better, you just watch the pig like he's the one, like, you know, the pig, you can see the pig, like, you know, on the ground. Yeah. Just like, stay away. <laughs> no, I like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> just, let him, just let him watch him and let yeah. him do his thing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I got, um. okay, I got one recording, and then we got demo. So, okay. So, you're... With your students, your approach to sparring, do you kind of do you introduce it gradually or do you kind of yeah. do like with like maybe I hand just, running I, first? I don't immediately like put the student like, okay, you have to spar immediately mm. because it's like otherwise the student, it's not developed their confidence yet. Okay. Their, their mobility is not yet there. 
the mm. footwork is not there yet and the way they strike they don't have enough control if they are student they are beginners so usually i don't want them to fight it immediately okay. there is a gradual process before they come up with a full contact sparring so we have a a uh, timing drill contact sparring like just timing drill just contact the weapon and mm -hmm. we have the sparring the sparring distance sparring you 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 don't hit each other basically you just like get the timing and and mm. and, and figure out the opening then once you see it that they are more confident and 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 confidence and and you know and you can see their their mobility it's improving and you can see their striking it's now it's good then you put them in a light contact first okay okay light contact not not really like a uh, a a uh, strong contact so just like put them like a a beginning you have a padded sticks and then eventually once they feel that you're more confident enough and and then you can okay let's go, Let go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah full yeah. contact okay no okay. limit <laughs> no i like i'd like i mean i think it's great that you have progression like that i, I think that's yeah. yeah so uh i think it's in in my experience of my of my teaching and that's the method of of my approach mm. winning ends so because like the students is like just like a baby mm. the baby you cannot feed the baby it's like a solid food immediately <laughs> yeah 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 right right yeah, yeah. <laughs> otherwise you, you will get indigestion you know <laughs> like, yeah. so the new student just like teach them how to walk how mm. to speak how to talk so once they feel once they understand and they are confident enough to do so that's the time that you give them responsibility ah oh, i like that i like that analogy okay you're right you give them something responsible for themselves yeah. okay. <laughs> right, i like that i like that oh we got boy, oh we got master boy garcia here uh, and we got Brian everett and colleague doug all right all right no, I yeah. like that. Like you go with, you know, gradual increments like that. So you're not setting them up for failure. You know what I mean? Or, you know, yeah. a miserable Jim experience. Boy. And they don't want to come back, you know? Game boy, Garcia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, he's a good friend of mine. Yeah. He, yeah, I really like him. Yeah, we had him on. He did young. Yeah, really good. I, I thought that was great. Yeah. Um, I'm ready for the demo. Whatever you guys want to show, I'll, I'll lower myself. Whatever oh, you guys want to do. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, whatever you guys want to show. Don't love it. I first. Whatever you guys got to show, I guarantee you they'll enjoy it. Okay. The audience loves demos. Um, and I right, and audience? Okay. Right. Single All right, I'm going to hide myself. Okay. It's still a single knife. And <laughs> I. So we get on the flow right there right then come up there right flow with the flow so we come up with the entry this is what he called pasakai paluso uh, uh, a drill right there now meaning when the attack comes in here you have to follow through right right there okay get the flow right there okay so meaning i'm here so once you understand the entry you know the entry already since you get used to this kind of movement. You can see the opening. So when the attack comes in here, so there's one, two, three, four, right there. You come up here and then you come up there, right? So the attack comes in there. Now you come up with a parry, right? Same thing. You have to feed him right there, right? So see to it that you have to establish your mechanics at the same time, your footwork strategy. Okay, so. When the attack comes in here, so you have to get out of the way, so you have get out outside, or if you don't have a chance, you can go inside, but you have to go outside uh, um, uh, at the same time, right? So you cut, strip the weapon, the lever there, elbow, move, and then follow through, right? Okay, so one more time. 
when the punches comes in, the liberty, trust, the attack comes in there, right? Okay, cut there. Take this out. Now I'm here. Now switch, okay? Immediately you have to switch it, your angle, because if you are fighting a multiple attackers, you can use him as a shield, right? Okay, now I'm here. You deliver there right into the spine, move, then follow through. So without the knife, no, you can still do it, right? So when the punch comes in, a good direct click of the eyes, deliver here, elbow, elbow, okay? You drag it there. I'm not going to use my hand to strip the knife because, first of all, this is a training knife, right? But if it's the real knife, it's very difficult to strip using your forearm and you don't know if the knife has a poison in it, right? Okay, so the punch comes in right there. Boom. Okay, elbow, elbow. You drag him, push him there. So boom. Okay, now he could commit suicide, right? Right. Strip. Use the knife. Use his body to strip the knife, right? The lever elbow breaking, break again, knee, elbow, the lever that come back. Okay, so another thing, the lever there, get out of the way, elbow strike. Now I'm here. Okay, now come in here, the lever right there, strip this out, then follow through, break, move, knee, elbow. Now I'm here, knee, elbow there. So even empty hands, right? Okay, punches comes in, deliver there, boom, we'll deliver elbow. So this is breaking, break. Now this is your break, break again, break again, knee, break, 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 break. Okay, so another thing, punches comes in. Boom, deliver that, boom, now knee, now break the head, boom, break it, break and strip the eyes. <laughs> Once comes in, boom, we'll deliver knee breaking, elbow, now break here, break, break. Now here, now drag him, now this is your neck breaking. So, so that's the progression. Now if you deal with the double knife, Right. Okay, so the same manner, right? When the attack comes in here, so I can come with a cold parry there. Right. Now we deliver there. Now I'm here. Now I have to maneuver behind, right? Now I check, move, follow there. So use your footwork strategy. Right. Okay. Attack comes in. Whoa, parry. Whoa, 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 deliver there. Now. Knee, deliver here, now push. Now again, maneuver, now cut. <laughs> Things like that. So, so that's the progressions. So double knife, single knife, and empty hands. That was awesome. <laughs> I lost count up. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say, Royce, you did you did great right you were, the, you were the perfect perfect training partner <laughs> uh, Thank geez, you. I oh uh okay i got a request to on from another to on so two on bobby is requesting could two on mel show a little bit of battle song please that's one of his favorite weapons Okay. <laughs> Get your I guess the question is, did they have a bell for me? Um, uh, hold on one second. Hold on. We're, uh, we're trying to see if they can locate one. Uh, wow, we got, uh, we got a good crowd here. Beautiful as always. I guess I'm kind of got Jerry to have, anyways. <laughs> To on Bobby, he will be coming on next month, actually. Yeah, to on Bobby. Yeah, he's gonna come out with uh, his brother, to on Apollo. We're gonna have the brothers on next month. That should be fun. So, one second, I'm gonna grab the uh, balisong real quick. All right. Oh, you guys found one. Okay, I'll lower myself. You have it. 
No, I brought it to the school. <laughs> so, oh, Bobby, yeah. I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Apologies. Uh, they can't locate one. I'm very sorry because it's like uh, the ball song we I'll left my, it in the school. So, I'll what is it? I'll get my father's. <laughs> okay, one second, okay? Oh, we have, yeah. we have a backup? Yeah, I think so. We might be in luck. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll wait a little bit, and I think Roy's you run upstairs and 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 grab the ball song, but I think it's real one. <laughs> That's what. You oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You may be uh, more excited. The printer ball song. He left it in the school, so. Well. Did he mention his father? Did he mention that he might be getting his father's? Is that? Did I hear that correctly? Yeah, that's what he said. That because okay, okay, I think. Okay. He has a bow song that he gave it to his father, to his dad. So now okay. can, he, he can borrow it, can borrow it, and can use it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So there's a Filipino household. There's always one around. What's that? There's a the ho wait, household item. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Right, I'm gonna lower myself. This is my that's father's. Uh... That's sharp, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Wow. That's, not, that's up to you. You don't. You don't have. To. Okay. All right, I love I'll, I'll try. Don't try. It's a light. No light. injuries. Yeah. Oh, bravo. Hey, that was great. That was live. That was a real one, too. Wow. Yeah, real yeah. one. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's alive. So. Yeah. Oh, that was, uh, wow, fantastic. Yeah. This is, at, this is at least a 60, 65-year-old ballad song. Wow. At least. Oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. All right. And we got... Uh, Jeez, we got Eric O'Brien. Royce, you should be demoted for this, not having your <laughs> 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 Well, you have to give him credit. He did he did get creative and and find one. So I think he deserves to be let off the hook for that. The, uh, the other bell song I have is a double edge and it's not loosened, so I don't want to give that to him. No, 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 no. That was great. And we got honestly two on. You are the man for doing a live. Yeah. Agreed. Tuan Bobby says thank you, and we got all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so um, ooh, we're coming up, man. Time flies, so we got a when he okay. It's request double stick flow from Tuan Mel while he talks about what he's doing. Oh, okay. We got another request. <laughs> all yeah, right, let's do it. I will lower myself. All right, one second, guys. Okay, so uh, Royce, you run a little bit here. So I'm gonna. Oh no. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna grab here. It's okay. Right there. Okay, no problem. Let's stay a little bit. Here, up here, here, right? All right. So. Okay, so the space is not enough, but uh, it's kind of tight, but I can manage it. No problem, right? So,
All right. I I'm, I'm bet you I'm sure Paulo's very happy. <laughs> that was Paulo's request. <clears throat> so um, I got a question to on, and this question is your use of the sarong. Um, where did you, uh, where did the material come from? Actually, it's sarong is come is is the coming from Panama. It's come from empty hands. Let me show you. You have a sarong rice. Yes. No, it's it's like even scarf. You have scarf, please. Right. Let me show you one. Very All quick. right, I'm going to. Uh, I will. You guys are doing it because I'll lower myself again. Right. So. Okay. It's okay. I think we're going to get that. Okay. One second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. No worries. Oh, you're taking that down? Oh, you're gonna, so okay, okay. Now I'm going to use that. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to use that. When in doubt, substitute. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so ornate up there, what he's got. Wow. Okay. Oh, they don't want really that. Gosh, extra credit for Royce today. Got the ballad song. He's getting this. Man. All right, right. I'll get a little myself. Okay. Let's do it. It seems like the connection. It's uh, you hear me, the uh, Dan. Oh. Yeah, so Tuan, when I put myself on the bottom, I could definitely hear everything you say. You just won't be able to hear me. So, um, okay. yeah, so, the, so the question that came in to me was basically your sarong material, you know, where it came from. So do your thing, okay. and uh, when you're done, I'll pop back up. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay so let me show you the empty hands first, right? Okay, so go ahead here. One, deliver here. Right now, see this? So this is neck breaking. Yeah. Right? Okay, let me show you this. Now, I'm gonna use a sarong. Move. See this? Now it's the same thing, right? Okay, another thing. See, this is breaking, right? Okay. So those are the example. So, and then plenty of that. So if you understand the Panama, understand the platform, as far as the empty hands is concerned, which is a several platform in there that you can be able to connect it, then you can, this is what we call transference of technology. You use it, the entry, using your empty hands, using your empty hands, your entry, but you're using basically your sarong, which is the flexible weapon. It's what we call transference of technology. So because of that, your entry reinforce of what you'll be able to apply whatever uh, weapon is in your hand. You can apply it quickly without any thinking. All right. That was great. Thank you. Man, those are great demos. So I got, all right. So the concluder, and we got, uh, that's the Benui Ingenuity. <laughs> Sachi. That's fun. <laughs> All right, nothing but wonderful comments. Uh, Paolo, so much to unpack here. They're nice, smooth as silk. Mandela Rob, wonderful. Yeah, and Mike. All right, nothing but uh, great stuff coming in. Um, all right, I'm going to throw out some terms, and maybe for the folks, you can just kind of give them a brief explanation. And Royce, if you want to jump on this, please, please do. Um, so, Sigidas. 
um, seguidas generally means bridging, right, Juan? When you say seguidas, when you say seguidas from the word sigi, right? Coming from the word sigi, meaning it continues moving in the content space. So that's the reason why the Sigidas, it's designed not necessary for you to deliver the stripe, widely stripe, or using a, a uh, uh, what do you call this, a, uh, uh, a fluid strikes. At, and, and, and you can be able to use your, what we call this, a bridging strikes that uh, uh, using the different strike pattern. In Sigidas, lots of short move and jabbing because that's the sign if you are in the, in, in the, in the aisle or if you are in the, uh, 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 in the space that not enough space for you to move, then you can mm. use the movement. Okay, okay, okay. All right, next, contradas. Contradas means counter. So basically, you use a contradas for you to apply a exchange fluidity using uh, uh, counter to counter to counter. Okay. Okay. Weapon contact to non uh, uh, weapon contact to non uh, uh, down to uh, non contact, which is hitting the hand or hitting the weapon hand. Okay. So you can apply that back and forth from contact to weapon, non contact, cutting the hand, exchange using your counter to counter flow. Got it. Got it. And somebody else, recontras? Recontras is recounter from the word recounter. So we're going to use from the contradas, now you have to build. You step up to the next level, you add a, what we call recountering. Okay, okay. okay. So because it's like recontras. Then contradas, recontras, recontradas, meaning counter recounter. Counter recounter. Now you have to start exchange counter counter using the platform of Contradas, which is your baseline. Got it. Got it. My education, PTK after tonight, is going to be an all-time high. <laughs> yep. uh, especially your uh, whole explanation on the uh, methodology earlier. That was... But, um, all right. The importance of CBOT training. Mm -hmm. So, CBOT is very, very good. It's one of my favorite weapon uh, uh, category. Because if you work with a CBAT, it, the benefits, it's not only the striking benefits. Mm -hmm. It's also, it develops your body mechanics very well. And at the same time, it synchronizes your footwork. Because it's like you cannot be able to swing the CBAT without moving. Yeah, right. Otherwise, yeah. it... it, it uh, I would say it lose your coordination and you cannot be able to manage if you don't use your footwork and you don't want, mm -hmm. if you don't use your body mechanics on it. So because see, but it, which is the spare. Okay. And whatever you can do in the single baston or single stick, you can do it with your mm -hmm. Sibat. You can use a Sibat Idaga also, right? which is spear and the knife. Oh, that's an interesting combo. I got that one the next oh. level. So, okay, I've never seen that. Oh, interesting, interesting, okay. Yeah, yeah I get that. what you're saying about that. It would definitely improve your footwork mechanic because otherwise you, you're gonna be tearing your limbs and destroying your um, your soft tissue if you're not obviously yeah. moving your body coordination with it. Yes, exactly, mm -hmm. because like if you're trying to swing the it, because it's more uh, a longer uh, stick than the regular mm. stick, right? It's a little bit longer, which is basically the original length of Sibat is five feet. Five foot, okay, okay. Five feet, right? So five foot. So because we use the pattern that the tribe during the early days in the Philippines, 
they are not six footer. They are like short people. So if it was four foot, five Put foot that, bears. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they use that to hunt the wild animals to 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 hunt the fish. Mm. So basically, there's a but it's like it's it's short. It's not like a a a. Uh, um, uh, six feet, uh, like bow staff or so, something like that. Gotcha. A five okay. feet length. So okay. that's the original. Now, of course, we can adjust because you know, uh, if you're not comfortable using a five feet, um, uh, length, then you can adjust it. But I said mm. a five feet. Okay. So Royce was saying, let's do a a spear. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Royce. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the curtain. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Last one. And uh, before, okay, your favorite weapon or weapons to train in. You kind of just mentioned the one there. Okay. My favorite weapon to train, if you ask me, double baston or double double stick. Okay. Well, it looked at when you were demoing. Train yeah. double sticks. I train everything. Okay. So if you work with the double baston uh, applying the uh, different pattern, if you remove that, you use pade daga, same thing. You mm. remove that, you use your single knife, it's the same thing with the response of the other hand. If you remove that, you use your pangamot, it's the same thing. That is what we call kamot sawali. Got it, got it. So no. then that will be the uh, the benefits of, 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 double, of the double baston Lots and lots of benefits because the source of weapon category is from double sticks. Mm, okay. So, and if you work with a double baston, you cannot afford that, okay, I use only my right hand. I'm not going to use my left hand. Right, you have to right. force your left hand to do so with the same pattern of your right hand. Mm. So, it means you're forced to do it. So eventually, if you remove the double sticks, your hand, your pangamot is become natural. Right. I, no, okay. I can see. So I'll give an example. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know so, so. Okay, so the punches comes in. So now I apply a, what you call a sinawali pattern, which is your kamot sawali. So pum pum, deliver there, right. See that? Now I can deliver here and deliver here and then follow there, right? So. I can still follow the pattern. Deliver there, I can use open uh, sawali. So the same manner. So it's it, you, not necessary for you to think what to do or what technique that you're- Yeah, I'll just come out. I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Boom, it's in there because it's mm. like, it's a, it's a natural. It's mm. already a on memory. It's in your system. Yeah. Because you're doing a doubly baston that's my, uh, uh, that's my um, uh, the information that I want to share it with you guys. So you work with double baston. If you work with double baston over time, time comes. You remove that, your hand is become natural. Yeah, more fluent. I could definitely see that. Definitely. Yeah, okay. because it's like yeah. there is no such thing secret. Mm. In the, no secret. You yourself is a secret. Yeah. No Meaning, secret, no secret technique, Tuan? <laughs> no secret technique. The formula is in there. Yeah. It depends how you'll be able to put yourself and, and dedicate yourself and put time on it of, of work. Mm. So if you work over time, obviously, it will improve better. Yeah. It will be better. But if you, okay. I don't want to work that. I don't want to do this. I, I prefer to watch movie. No, of course. What mm -hmm. you expect. Yeah, of right. Course. Not, you're not willing for the time. And sure, sure. Of course, it limits your spending. Yeah. All right. So what are your, what's the future goals for yourself and organization? The future is I want to establish a quality uh, practitioners of the system. Quality, but humble people. Oh, okay, can't go wrong there, humble people. Leader, strong leader. Mm -hmm. That's how the, I think that's the only way 
that uh, the system survive and pass on to the next generation. Strong mm -hmm. leader, but humble people. The humble, respectful people. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and, and and humble, and don't involve in any negative things. That's yeah, okay. like all that. I know all that. That's the reason that's going on in politics. Yeah, that's so. the reason why I not. I, I'm I'm not only like promoting PTK, but I support the FMA. I involve in in FMA organization. In the Philippines, we have PCAF, right? I'm sure you're aware of that. Like I've heard the that, yeah. yeah. Federation, which is yeah. uh, under the chairmanship of uh, Senator Siberi, right? Yes, Miguel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'm one of the uh, board of director and sitting to that uh, organization. The, the whole idea is to bring different style and different system of FMA and put it together mm. work together oh that's a great goal I hope they I hope, I hope so, you guys get success with that yeah so mm. and well it's so far it's like running well and oh good good and lots of in and grandmasters and masters and practitioners working together and all coming together for a common goal Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, well, this has been, um, I hope we didn't take too much of your time. This has been absolutely wonderful. I, I am so thankful that you came on. I really appreciate it. Uh, sometimes it's worth the wait, you know, what you get out of it. So again, um, you know, thank you so much for coming on. To me, this was like my, when I look at past episodes, you know, you always have an entertainment value or, yeah, but this far as an educational value, this is up there you know what i mean like the way you explain the tri v formula with the individual modules and the platforms within the modules i thought that was so well articulated and i thank you for that that was so much, yeah. uh, dean i really appreciate and uh for having me uh, being a guest here in, in in your program i really appreciate it and again thank you so much Mananudlo Royce, Ramos. Yeah, and all the coordination. Guy, you know, and he's the one like remind me all the time because it's my my schedule of a lot of stuff going on. And then he said, like, okay, let's go. This is yeah, schedule. Yeah, okay. no. He was right. <laughs> so helpful in, in the coordinating of this. I mean, yeah, and Royce, you know, thank you. Oh, folks, check this out. Um, if you are in the area, they um they're having a seminar this weekend at guru royce's uh, school so if you were in new york and um and all that so right there at the flyer and i'm sure you guys have seen it probably circulating around the other facebook groups what have you but uh there it is so if you guys can make that um that's what, you know sounds like it'd be a good thing guys, but uh it's me you know if you have any questions regarding the seminars so that way you know we can plan ahead i know it's this weekend. Some people may not have seen or heard of it. So you know, Facebook algorithms and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you are in the area, you want to come through, of course, we'd love to have you. All right. There it is, folks. If you want to message these, uh, these people individually to on uh, Mel or uh, Guru Royce for more information, please do. But there's a flyer. Um, wow. But again, I want to thank you both. This is absolutely wonderful. The comments reflect that themselves. Um, 32 likes, you know, so that says it right there. So this is an absolute uh, great show. And I want to thank you both so much. You know. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you guys for the support and uh, um, enjoy this program. Uh, and I'm really happy that uh, um, uh, being a guest of, this platform, then thank you so much. I really appreciate it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Thank you. All right. Well, you guys have a good night and uh, you guys take care of yourselves. All right. Good night, everyone. Dean, okay. good night. Okay. Say, be safe. Thank you. Absolutely. You take care. Take care. Okay, bye. Right. Wow. That concludes three consecutive nights of PTK. <laughs> so uh, what turn what was a uh, schedule blunder actually turned out to be really well so uh
Uh, but yeah, I have a much needed break from interviews. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm not on till next week. Uh, I think Guru Tom has got somebody this week and all that. But uh, those of you who uh, tuned in the last three uh, nights, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, there was some absolutely great material from all three. And um, yeah, wow. Uh, I know I, for myself, I've got a better understanding of uh, PTK uh, from watching these three. And what else is coming up? What else interesting? Um, we got a bunch more guests coming up this month. And also, tomorrow, we are kicking off the uh, Christmas uh, raffle. We're, we're taking all the donations, five bucks a ticket, and we're sending it over to the Philippines. We got some charities already picked out. So if you guys jump in on that, some great, there's some cool surprises that people donated. And uh, you actually will be uh, helping children. So uh, again, you'll see that in FMA discussion. It's going to be launched tomorrow. All right, folks, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to FMA Discussion on YouTube where you can see this uh, interview and other great ones. And again, all our proceeds go to charity. All right, thank you.